Oh, look at that. The sun is, the, is about to set soon. So welcome to Pokemon Go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have some pretty exciting news coming up for the winter holiday part two, which is going to be Tis the Season to Wear Your Festive Best. Eevee and its evolutions will be donning holiday hats in Pokemon Go. So for the winter holiday part two, Friday, December 23rd, at 10 a.m. to Saturday, December 31st, 2022, at 8 p.m. local time. So Pokemon debuts are going to be Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon are gonna be wearing holiday hats, and they will be making their Pokemon Go debuts. And if you're actually lucky, Eevee wearing a holiday hat will be a shiny. And so this is also the first time trainers will be able to evolve their Cub Chew, wearing a holiday ribbon into Bear Tick, wearing a holiday ribbon. Also event bonuses, trainers can store up to 40 gifts until the end of the event. And during a holiday part two, uh, trainers can choose between several bonuses as a reward for their time research. So on time research, will your wish come true? Trainers will be able to access branching time research that grants their wish for bonuses that revolve around either hatching eggs, catching Pokemon, or collecting Stardust. The path you choose will determine which bonuses and tasks you have for the event. No matter which wish you pick, all trainers who complete the research will receive items then to have opportunity to have to encounter Galarian Mr. Mime and other winter themed Pokemon. So Winter Wonderland Saturday December 4th, 24th through the 25th at 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time is going to be event bonuses one extra special trade per day daily adventure instance Activated during event will last for 30 minutes. Thank you. Yes. If you guys were wondering what's going on, Daily Adventure Instance is boosting up 15 minutes more. I did ask for Niantic to boost the, to 30 minutes of Instance because that's what I'm saying. If you want to get more Pokemon, you'll get more Galarian Birds. Don't you get it? 15 minutes. It's going to feel short. If you do this for 30 minutes in a daily adventure instance, it's going to be more fun that way. Trust me. A lucky exchange, the number of guaranteed lucky Pokemon a trainer can receive in a trainer has been increased from 10 to 15. And starting now, if you trade a Pokemon that has spent time in a trainer's Pokemon storage since 2017, it is guaranteed to become a lucky Pokemon until the limit is reached. This change is permanent and will stay active going forward. Interesting change happening for lucky exchange. We'll be talking more about this after we were done after we're done with this update. Collection challenge. A Winter Wonderland collection challenge is coming. Complete the Winter Wonderland collection challenge by Sunday, December 25th at 8 p.m. local time to encounter a glaring Mr. Mime and receive XP and incense. So Suyin Avalok Raid Day will be coming up on Saturday, December 24th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. So we're holding a special Raid Day to celebrate Hisuian Avalok. So Hisuian Avalok will appear in three-star raids if you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny one. Suing Novelog will appear more frequently in raids. Earn up to five additional daily raid passes from spending gym photo discs. Enjoy an increased chance of encountering shiny Suing Novelog. So wild encounters are going to be Pikachu wearing a winter carnival outfit, uh, Eevee wearing a holiday hat, Swinub, Delibird wearing a holiday hat themed ribbon, Snorunt. Sfeel, Snover, Vanillite, Cub Chew wearing a holiday themed ribbon, and Bergmite. And they can all be shiny except for Vanillite. And if you're lucky, you might encounter the following 
Alolan Sandru and Standler are shinies and not Cragonall as a shiny. And then eggs are gonna be Sneasel, Smoochum, Amora, Bergmite, and Crabwaller. Amora and Crabwaller will not be shiny. Okay, one star raids is gonna be Pikachu wearing a winter carnival outfit. Alolan Sandru, Eevee wearing a holiday hat. Galarian Darumaka and Cubchoo wearing a holiday ribbon. And they can all be shiny. Three star raids are gonna be Coyster, Labrus, Delibird wearing a holiday ribbon, and Glaceon wearing a undersea holiday outfit are coming back. And they could be shiny except for Coyster. Then we got us five star raids. Kiram will be returning into raids and it can be shiny. Mega raids are gonna be Mega Glades, so Mega Glade will still continue on for Mega Raids. Now, Kiram is going to be coming back on December 23rd on Friday, 10 a.m. through Sunday, January 1st at 10 a.m. local time. And it will know the feature attack, Glaciate. So Glaciate is going to be trainer power. Trainer battles is going to be 60 power. This move decreases your opponent's attack and gyms of raids is 160 power so field research tasks are going to be pikachu wearing a winter carnival outfit lolan sandrew seal shelter shinx eevee wearing a holiday hat deli bird wearing a holiday ribbon Cubchoo wearing a holiday ribbon and crab baller and they can be shiny except for crab baller and if you're lucky you might encounter the following sneasel and glaceon Wearing an undersea holiday ad outfit are shiny. And this will move forward to what happens with holiday part one to holiday part two. We talked about special research line from part one. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out right here. Yeah, like right here. All right, so we're going to be reviewing this and we're going to be talking about and also i want to really talk about the lucky exchange this is the first time that pokemon go has done it but lucky pokemon that is going to be receiving the trade has been increased to 10 to 15 is a big plus it is an actual big plus because that way luckies are now starting to re-roll a lot more than it used to be so i just like yeah this is gonna be insane 2017 pokemon instead of 2016 pokemon that's gonna be very big and also the daily adventure instance we did talk about this when daily instance did came out it was 15 minutes people like the 15 minutes but my opinion i feel 30 minutes is actually what i asked for since like the beginning of daily adventure instance so i'm very excited for this one for this daily adventure instance for 30 minutes so that way we can be able to gain more traction to find more galarian birds and that way it's it's gonna be more fun that way guys and also um i also want to say that 40 gifts has been coming up since part one but I was expecting more than 40 gifts, like about, I would say 100 gifts and then just send them all. Um, 40 gifts does seem good, but I feel like 100 gifts is totally better to send out because um, this would also help me as an individual to send people gifts and to open people's gifts without that 40 limit gift all right folks that would be it for the winter holiday part two make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below and i hope to see you guys in the next video laters bye